My husband Max and I used to have our own private studio and I loved working there but I missed the company of other artists and so when the opportunity arose I joined the Red Barn as a member. And so after when we found out it was for sale I talked to him and we decided that we would go for it and see if we could buy the Red Barn and keep it as a ceramic facility. So we did that. As you can see, that it's a renovated craftsman style barn. And we have about 10 members. Some own, have a studio and some rent a shelf space, but everyone has the ability to come when they like and to use all the equipment. I myself got into ceramics after I went back to MSU to earn a second degree as a Bachelor of Fine Arts. And the first ceramics course I took I knew that I wanted to do this for the rest of my life. I've mostly built ceramic sculpture. That's my go-to. And uh, the sculpture is organic. It reflects the kinds of forces that are upon a human being living the life that we live. So my sculptures portray that, and I don't have a picture of them usually when I start working. And as I work on it, it develops into the, into the shape that it will become. It kind of comes out from the inside of me. This piece was coming along really well and I thought it kind of looked like an awkward horse. So I intended to entitle it Awkward Horse. What happened was it fell over and broke. So I picked it up and I dusted it off and did some sanding and scraping and rubbing oxides into it. And ended up getting a piece that I really like, which has repeated shapes as you look around the piece. I have another piece, which is one of my favorites, that I call Wraith. It gives a sense of movement, almost of torque within the piece. And this one also has openings which you can look through and repeated shapes as you turn the piece. My life couldn't be better. I, I just am living my dream, as Paul Nelson said. That's the, that's the way I would also put it. Mm -hmm.